St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by contributions from two donors. The first are Annie Bernard and family from Ottawa, Ontario, for the repose of the soul of Jacob Bernard, who died January 13, 2007. The second is an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario, for the deceased members of her family, for the spiritual and temporal needs of her family and extended family, for peace in the world, and for Christians who are suffering persecution. On behalf of all those across Canada gathered for the celebration of this Eucharist, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May Jesus, the light of the world, be with you. God, we come before you to offer our lives to you. We come before you to renew our commitment to be followers of you, disciples of Jesus. And for our failures and our shortcomings, for the ways in which we veer off course, we ask your forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, through your Son, you made us a new creation. He shared our nature and became one of us. With his help, may we become more like him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. My dear people, this is the boldness we have in God that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the requests made of him. If you see your brother or sister committing what is not a mortal sin, you will ask, and God will give life to such a one, to those whose sin is not mortal. There is sin that is mortal, I do not say that you should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not mortal. We know that those who are born of God do not sin, but the one who is born of God protects them, and the evil one does not touch them. We know that we are God's children, and that the whole world lies under the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptized. John also was baptizing at Anon near Salim, because water was abundant there, and people kept coming and were being baptized. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now, a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, here he is baptizing, and all are going to him. John answered, No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves are my witnesses that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. For this reason, my joy has been fulfilled. He must increase but I must decrease. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. 